I'm going to show you a bead headed woolly bugger. Got a brass bead and a Mustad 79 580 hook. You have to choose a bead large enough to fit over the hook and slide up, but you don't want a bead that's so large that it plugs up the eye of the hook. So the bead has been slid on the hook. We're going to put it in the vise. Several tricks to making this fly effective, and one of them is the use of lead in the front of the hook. I have a fine diameter about a size 010 lead. I'm going to wind on a few wraps of that. Then push it tight together. Now we're going to slide it up to where there's about a sixteenth of an inch between the front of the lead and the gold bead, or the brass bead. Now we can start our thread. Start up front, wrap over the lead a few times to hold it in place. Then work our way to the back of the hook. This is going to be a black and grizzly peacock woolly bugger. I here have a blood quill, black, that I have stripped the base off of, get rid of all the, the short, fat, ugly feathers. And I'm also going to grab just the tip of the feather and pop the fibers in the tip out. This now allows us to slide the marabou all together, run our fingers out, and wind up with a perfectly matched tail. I'm going to lay the tail in, make a couple wraps over it, and then cut on a diagonal the butt sections. The reason they're cut on a diagonal is so when you wrap over them, they, they go into a smooth taper rather than being just a short, chopped off lump. There's the tail of our woolly bugger. The hackle is going to be grizzly. We want to select a fairly wide, soft grizzly. This is a saddle. We're going to flare the grizzly out by running our fingers down it. That makes it a lot easier to tie, a lot easier to wrap on the hook. It doesn't mat down on itself as you go around the hook. Tie it in place on the top of the hook. It's important when you add materials to the fly that you always start in the top range of the hook. If you start tying and get into the habit of tying everything on the front or everything to the back side, you've, before long you have a fly that's weighted to the front or back and it will roll over in the water. If you tie everything to the top, you have a balanced fly between the top of the fly and the bend of the hook, so your fly rides true in the water. Next we're going to add some peacock hurl. This will be the body of the fly. I have five or six strands off of an eye feather. I'm going to clip the tips off so they're fairly even and lay them in to where they're just behind the lead. We will use the peacock to kind of fill in the area where the lead drops off onto the hook shank. Work our way back with the thread and then go to the front. I like to finish off the front wraps with a half hitch. Half hitch by putting the thumb on the bottom, two fingers on top, and just rolling the thread over, putting the eye of the hook through the hole in the middle. Half hitch just keeps you from uh, losing tension on everything if the thread should break. Smooth out our peacock curl and we're going to spin it. Then we're going to work our way to the front of the fly, placing the wraps side by side. You don't have to go back and forth over them. The area now where the peacock was tied in was fairly close to the same diameter as the lead, so it gives us an even body all the way up. Now, the reason we've tied the lead to about a 32nd or 16th of an inch behind the bead head is that gives us a place to hide the materials without forming a large thread head on the fly. We we'll go around one time right in behind the bead into that gap. Then we're going to use our thread. We're going to cross over the grizzly or cross over the peacock, make two wraps around, and then two wraps in front of it. Make sure we have that secured, and then carefully clip the peacock. Now, the thread wrap on the front of the peacock has been hidden because it's pulled down into that gap between the lead and the bead head. Add another half hitch. Now we're ready to start our grizzly forward. By flaring the fibers out before you start, now when you go around, they pull really nicely into a good flare as we wrap around the hook. We get up behind the bead, we're going to make one complete wrap around, and as I go around, I'm going to pull the fibers back out of the way so I don't mat them down. And again, I'm going to stop at the top of the hook. Two wraps across the grizzly, pull everything back, two wraps in front of it, and I'm going to throw in a finish knot of a half hitch. Two half hitches, and that secures it. Now we can go in and very carefully cut a grizzly and slide our 
our scissors up the thread. It's important when tying off and clipping any thread, if you pull the thread, put a lot of tension on it, and then cut it real close, if you've got the thread stretched, the end goes back up through the knot and unties the knot. So you never want to put a lot of tension on your thread when you're cutting it. You want just very light tension, cut it off nice and close, and there's a bead-headed peacock woolly bugger.